Great Thursday, July 9th, 2020, to God be the glory for yet another beautiful day that the Lord has graced us with. You might have a heavy heart today. Um, I started out late uh, coming out here to jog and I was like, Lord, do I really have to go? And he was like, still go, Michelle, even though it's over well, 80 plus degrees and the sun is beaming. Mm -mm. He said in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. So say that 10 word prayer if you have something daunting or challenging that you're facing today. We are in the second chapter of Amos and it's talking about the poor, those who are suffering, those who have been dealt a hand that was not, you know, right and not equitable. I was listening to... Um, Professor Coates from Howard University, you know, he gave that speech last week regarding uh, reparations uh, to Congress and check him out. It's very compelling. And I am for reparations as far as educational. <laughs> Look, our babies need to, you know, get uh, scholarships, free uh, free offerings to these Ivy Leagues. They're just as smart. They just didn't have the opportunity. And I believe in cash reparations because we built this country and it is even biblical. In Deuteronomy, the 15th chapter, it talks about when you send a slave away, you are to bless them liberally. In verse 13 of Deuteronomy 15, it says, and when thou sendest him out free from thee, Thou shalt not let him go away empty. Now, they were talking about the Hebrew slaves, but this is slavery. Verse 14, thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock. You should be, you should be giving them, they should have received sheep and, huh? And stocks and bonds and hedge funds and all of that. And out of thy floor and out of thy wine press of that wherewith the Lord thy God have blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him or her. So the Lord wants his people to be taken care of. We are dealing with so many repercussions from years ago. And in Amos 2, it talks about the poor in verse 6. Because they sold the righteous for silver. Hmm? That sounds like an auction, auction block to me. And the poor for a pair of shoes. These were the people in Moab who were doing all types of transgressions against the Lord that pant after the dust of the earth on the head of the poor and turn aside the way of the meek and a man and his father will go mm -mm, and unto just doing some crazy stuff. Well, what is the Lord saying? That he wants to take care of us. He wants us to direct our prayers unto him. It says in Psalms 69, 13, O Lord, in an acceptable time, my prayer is unto thee, O God, in the multitude of thy mercy. Hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of this mire. Some of us are still in the mire. Let me be delivered from them that hate me. We have enemies all around us and out of the deep waters. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. God is good and he hears the cry of his people and he promised to be a refuge for the oppressed. I believe, now let's see, today is the ninth. We would have gone to Psalms 99 and 129 and 69 and 39 and nine. Yeah, that's where I'm looking for, Psalms 9, 10. Because we have dealt with so many years of oppression, the Lord's promise is in verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name, we know the Lord's name, will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken us. So that for the needy shall not always be forgotten. Verse 18, the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. The Lord will take care of us. Let's rest in his will, his mercy, and his loving kindness and enjoy his blessings.